Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video demonstrating this action that I created in Photoshop. It's uh, for you, for those that don't know what actions are, it's essentially an automation tool that allows you to record your steps, uh, whatever steps you took, and in this case, uh, steps to remove black and create transparency. Uh, the prep work for my uh, artwork before I send it over to uh, the RIP software. All right, so let's get started. Um, Essentially, it's a one-step process. Um, you see, uh, this is the, the this panel over here is your actions panel. Um, if you don't see that, you can click on Windows and click on Actions. Okay, you click on that, and then from there, you just uh, hit Execute, which is down at the bottom, or the Play button, and it'll run through. Typically, it takes anywhere between five and ten seconds. Uh, I'm recording right now, so it may take a little bit longer. Uh, uh, it didn't so this is the finished product um, you see all the transparency that it created this is the original file let's put it on the black background this is the original file and this is the one that's been created and you can see that I because of the transparency it's lost some vibrancy um, and it's a little darker uh, simple enough to fix uh, you can go into adjustments uh, and bump up your brights, bump up your brights, and pull down your darks or your black. For the most part, that's it. But I do like to take it a step further and bump up my saturation. And in my saturation, I'll either I go up anywhere between 30 and 55 normally. And you can see how it's popping again. So it's just fine. All right. So let's turn off this and the artwork is now ready to move over to Photoshop I me mean, I'm sorry to your uh, rip software that process probably took maybe maybe two minutes I'm not sure uh, and you're done okay so let's look at another piece what do we have here let's try this one okay yeah I actually uh, picked this one for a reason it's a low resolution uh, photo I know a lot of guys like a lot of people like to use photos and uh, take full images and put them on shirts and be honest with you they create horrible horrible results so you have a rough harsh feeling shirt that when you rub it is loud you if you kind of ball it up in your hand you can hear it crumbling like paper uh, and once you watch it uh, the first time it begins to crack so That's let's it. do that here all right, again, let's find that action that we want to run here and just click play. Again, like I said, five to 10 seconds and you're done. And there you go, you're done. Artwork is done. If we turn this uh, black on to represent the shirt, we have it. Now, if I want to look at the original it's a little bit brighter again a little more vibrant but this alone isn't bad but what we can do like it like we did before is bump up some things and under level bump up your brights your lights your, um, your bright color or your light if you want to call it bring down bump it up a little bit more bring down your darks and we're pretty much right back where we were originally and from here, all you do is turn off your black background and you're ready to print. One thing I want to point out, look, check out all the uh, negative space here. Uh, you, even where you do have some color at, it's very light, very uh, trans, it's just transparent, which helps with transition, uh, in my opinion. Um, you don't get that, let's say we could have gone in and I could have click on black and just removed all, well I could have removed all black just simply done that and then moved it over to the software or I could have removed black simply removed black and then created a uh, transparency throughout again what we would have had is harsh transitions from one uh, area to the next it would have wouldn't have been nearly as appealing um, so from here, all you do again is you remove your black and then you just save it as a PNG, uh, and you're done again, this process 
took, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even think it took a whole minute, but we'll say under two minutes. Your artwork was prepped and ready to go. All right, so now let's, I'll see you open the RIP software. Give me your... Hey guys, I have my artwork loaded into Print Optimizer, which is my RIP software. Um, and once, I, once you get your artwork loaded, it's really not much you have to do other than maybe verify that your rasterization settings are correct. And once you uh, have verified that, uh, just simply uh, rest, uh, ripping and then viewing your viewing your image just to make sure that you got the res desired results and then printing. So from here I have uh, my frequency set to 24, my angles 53, and I'm using Euclidean round. Uh, pretty much everything is where it's fine. And like I say, from here you just rip. Okay, and let's view the raw data. And that's the end result. Really can't tell much from here, at least not in the form of just ver <laughs> excuse me, verifying the data. Um, so let's click on this. We're gonna turn everything yellow. And if I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this or not, but uh, to do this, you just uh, click on this first box here, and they give you that option to turn it to whatever color you like. But the main thing that you want to verify once you do that is then uh, view all colors in black, and that'll give you a very good representation of what's going on with your image. Uh, anywhere that there's black, that's where ink would be. Uh, so the heavier areas, basically where you're going to have more ink, the lighter areas where, again, it's going to be, there's transparency and there won't be as much ink being laid down. And it's going to, if you notice, you have a whole, a lot of transparent, oh, I'm sorry, a lot of negative space. I'm going to open that up so you can really see what's going on here. Let's go to 25%. And we did Euclidean round, so you're seeing we're seeing those lighter or, or areas where it's not a whole lot of uh, dots that are holes at, uh, versus the darker areas where you have um, larger larger holes or dots. And the benefit of that is you're getting that transition that we talked about over in Photoshop, where it's not. Uh, let's say if you haven't hadn't done that what you probably would have got is more of a line right here more of a line where there was no ink and then ink and no ink and then ink and that's really not uh, that appealing uh, again you just have uh, just nice smooth transitions in the artwork let's see if I can kind of move it around so you can see it a little bit better and that's it. So once that's done, you're done. I mean, you're done inside the rip software. You can close that, right click and print. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send this over to the printer and I'll be back when it's complete. Okay guys, I've already uh, pressed the AB sheets together and I just want you to see how easy it's peeling. And that's because of uh, all the negative space. If this was just uh, all the ink was on there, this thing would be very difficult to peel. Um, it would be just grabbing and possibly even rip the paper. Okay, here's a look at the finished product. Not bad for a low resolution photo. And this is gonna last for a long time and the feel is unbelievable. Here are some other shirts that I use this exact same process on. If you'd like to get this action added to your Photoshop, I've included the link below which will take you to my store.
Thank you for watching and happy printing.